In this one, we're gonna look at how to set up an alert when your stock quantity reaches a certain level. For example, on the screen, we have three items. We have Samsung, we have Apple, and Oppo. Samsung has 10 items in the store. We have Apple with 25 items. We have Oppo with seven. So each of these items have their own reorder level. And what is reorder level? This is a number that helps us to know that this item is running low. For example, for Samsung, we set the reorder level to 5. That means when it gets to 5, we want to order this item. All right? And the system will alert us that this item is running low. Now, if you look at Oppo, the quantity is 7 and the reorder level is set to 10. Now, if this item the quantity of this item gets to 10 or below 10 it will give us this orange alert okay now let's look at Samsung its reorder level is set to 5 I'm gonna issue this item and the quantity will go below 5 okay or we can issue 5 and we will be left with 5 so we should see an alert on this quantity okay so to do that I'm gonna click on the item name and I'm gonna click on issue this item I'm gonna issue at 5 issue 2 and I'm gonna put some random text and I'm gonna click save alright now if I head back to the list of items the item Samsung which is the reorder level and it is highlighted I can also adjust the reorder level and I'm gonna set it to number 2 and I click save so with this the highlight is no more applied to the quantity so this is what we're gonna look at in this video if you're interested in videos like this please consider subscribing so that you not miss our future videos alright so we have all the steps on the blog side the first one is to create a form that we will use to set the reorder level so I'm gonna copy this code and paste it in forms.py All right, we're gonna create a form and name it reorder level form okay and that will have the field of reorder level that field was already created in the model stock okay so I'm gonna save it and then move to the next step which is to create the reorder level view so I'm gonna copy the entire code and paste it in views.py It's also very similar to the edit view, just that we are using a different form. And that form has only one field, which is the reorder level. Okay. So, but everything else is just the same. Okay. So, I'm going to save this and then create a URL for it, which is the next step. I'm going to go to URL the py and paste it right below the receive item URL so I'm gonna save it and then move to the next step that is step number four okay so step number four is what does the highlighting for us okay it's a very simple logic I'm gonna switch to the templates the list of items all right so I'm gonna paste the code just above the loop and I explain it okay so we're creating a table data let me align that properly so that you can see what's going on all right so this is the logic here we're gonna have a TD all right and within the TD we'll have two set of instance that quantity one of them will be wrapped with a div that has a background styling of orange okay that is this one and the other one will not have the styling okay so that is if this condition is met apply this okay else just give us the instant the quantity with no styling and then end the if statement okay so I'm gonna take this TD cut it out and then replace this one okay so remember we have to bring back our URL the stock detailed URL so I'm gonna paste it over it 
okay so I want to have the URL applied on both this and this okay so I'm gonna break this from the line here so that I can easily apply the URL okay so I'm gonna copy this URL and then paste it right here I'm gonna break this one as well paste it right here and close it right here alright so I'm gonna do the same paste it here and close it right here remember this is um, start details you can confirm it from here this is start details I'm gonna paste it here okay so I'm gonna save this alright so now let's go through the code once more if instance the quantity is less than or equal to the instance that we are the level have this all right so I'm gonna break the div right here so this is easier to read I'm gonna indent that in all right so if this condition is met we're gonna have a div and within the div we're gonna have that instance that quantity all right so the div will have a background of orange else we just have the regular instant of quantity with the clickable anchor all right or with the anchor apply to it all right so I'm gonna save this and then move to the last step so on step number five we want to make the rig order level column appear here okay we want to have a rig order level column or somewhere around here so that we can update it as it is we can set the reorder level okay so that's what we are doing with this last piece of code so I'm gonna copy it and paste it in list items template so I want it to appear right after the quantity so I'm gonna paste it here alright so we're gonna have a header for it after the quantity I'm gonna copy and paste the quantity and call it reorder level save it and then refresh it up okay so this is what we have okay so let's test it I'm gonna set the reorder level to 5 and then see if this is gonna be highlighted I'm gonna click save okay so we have that working so this is how to do the reorder level and I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to click on the like button if you do enjoy it and please subscribe to this channel if you're interested in videos like this see you in another one